Thanks for getting the flowers, Sam. <laughs> sure thing, Freddy. They're wonderful. Gotta go, Sam. <laughs> Bye, Freddy. Whoa! Freddy. Here, Snappy, you look like you need some cheering up. For me? Oh, thanks, Freddy. Have a nice day. Bye. Hi, Grandma Grouper. Here's a flower for you. Thank you, Freddy. What's wrong, Grandma Grouper? Someone took my treasure chest. Grandma, your treasure chest that holds all the kelp seeds? Yes, Freddy. Look at the garden. It's dying. <gasps> Until we find my treasure chest, we have no food. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. Oh, thank you, Freddy. Here's my last peanut butter and jelly fish sandwich for your journey. Good luck, Freddy. Don't worry, Grandma Grouper. I'll find your kelp seeds. Where is he storing that? Where is he storing everything he's going to pick up? Okay, so welcome to this week's weekly one-shot. This is Freddy Fish in the case of the missing kelp seeds, and it will be followed by Freddy Fish 2 and 3. I have to beat all three of these games within three hours and 30 minutes. I have never played any of them. I've never seen any of them being played, so this is all going to be, well, a journey for me. One that I'm not going to be familiar with. Maybe it'll lean heavily into Pajama Sam. Maybe it'll be more like Nancy Drew. Who knows? I don't, but we'll all find out within the next three hours at least. Uh, is there anything else to say? Well, this is submitted by Deathshed419, who apparently isn't around to see this. And I'm not allowed to skip any animations, so I, even if the timer gets tight, I won't be able to just mash through the mouse and uh, and skip things. I hope I can save. I didn't see a save. It seems darkened out here. That could be a problem. I've had scum crash on me before. Oh well. Check the betting odds, Jake. Oh, people think I'm going to win? Well, that's, uh, that's very nice of them. Who believes I'll win the most? Carry you with 200k. And Tendronai, thinking I'm going to lose. Nobody's going all in, though. Nobody at all. And that's enough for Baron to say that his vote's in on lose. Right, well, we're going to have to beat Baron at this. Okay, no sense putting it off. Let's get that timer going and get going ourselves. So it's a point and click. We've played these before, but not many of them. Pajama Hi, Sam's. What are you doing? I'm trying to swim a loop. Sam and Max. Maniac Mansion. Day of the Tentacle. Ow! Hey, Freddy! Bet you can't swim a loop de loop. It's easy. Wow! Let me try again. Ow! Look, Luther, a bottle! And there's a note inside! It says, to find Grandma Grouper's treasure chest, go to the old whale bones. I'm gonna be rich when I find that treasure! We need to find Grandma Grouper's treasure chest because that's where the kelp seeds are. If we don't find them soon, all the fish are going to die! I'll help you find them, Freddy. The stakes are pretty high from the get-go. Okay, I'm not sure if this is kind of Nancy Drew clicking and kleptoing everywhere, but let's go and see what there is to do. Find those bones, get the treasure. Seems really easy. And if I can get this done within an hour, I'll I'll be well on par for everything else, surely. Wait here, boss. 
Maybe somebody else found the voice. <laughs> Maybe somebody else found it first. Of course someone else found it first, you spongehead. Come on, we gotta find that bottle. Oh, we're shark bait. But boss, do we are sharks. Well, this game has more in common with RimWorld than I might have thought. It's kind of nice to play a game that isn't RimWorld. Refresh my head. The game is kind of dominating my everything. Fun to see all these things, but I have a sneaking suspicion they're going to have very little to do with what we have to do. However, I feel like orienteering is going to be important here. <laughs> everything does everything here. <laughs> very cute. Maybe they can help us out with our journey, though. Gabby, mommy's coming. Um. Uh-oh, I'm stuck! Oh! 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 I'm giving it all I got, Captain! Oh! Sorry, Luther. Don't mention it. Gabby, my little guppy is stuck inside that cave. But I can't fit inside. Could you please find him? Yes, Mrs. Halibut. We'll help, Gabby. Is this really going to help us find the, uh, the missing chest? I'm not sure it will, but in we go anyway. Gotta remember I'm on my timer here. Oh, well, you were easy to find. Freddy! Luther! I'm stuck under this rock! Please help me! <sighs> I'm stuck! What are we going to do? Don't worry, Gabby. We just need to find a bigger board to pry the rock off your fin. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you there, though, right? What a beautiful show! Okay, no, we have the Klepto Drew stuff going on already. Please I hear you. Me. I'm still stuck. <laughs> Don't worry, Gabby. We just need to find a bigger board to pry the rock off your fin. Now, here's the question: Is this going to count a as a bigger board? Shell. What a beautiful! It's a colorful shell. What a! It's a colorful shell. It says, "Go to the old whale bones." Okay, so I don't seem to be able to use my items here. No clicking or dragging with them. Hmm, perhaps I just need to find the board and bring it here then. Did you find my guppy? Gabby's stuck, but he's okay. Oh, thank goodness! You'll never see him again unless you lose some weight. Hang on, do fish get fat? Hey, that looks like a board. It's a wooden board. My puzzle mastery is shining through this already. Is the way to the old whale bones. <laughs> we the really gate. are klepto then. I wonder what it will unlock. The old whale bones are over here. Look, the next bottle! The note says, go to the junkyard. Luther, we found another clue to Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. Look, Luther! It's a bone. He's just stealing everything he can, isn't he? Precursor to Nancy Drew, although this might have come out after some Nancy Drews. Don't think we can go further down there, right? We can double back and take care of everything we dodged past then. Uh, gee, boss, the kelp treasure ain't here. I don't know why you hid all those bottles. 
I put clothes in the bottle so I could find my way back to where I hid the kelp treasure. Well, if you can't find that treasure chest, you're gonna have to answer to the squid father. Please, boss! Not the squid father! Oh, clam up, spongehead! Right, I want to make sure that I... Okay, saving doesn't seem to happen at all in this game, so let's hope that it doesn't fail on us at all. Oh, I get it, that was a submarine sandwich. That's impressive, though. Hey, Ray, do you know how we can get through the shrimp net? You can't get through the shrimp net unless you got... the super duper duka booka poly gizmo. But you can't get the super duper duka booka poly gizmo unless you give me a clock. Where are we gonna get a clock? Look in the junkyard. Ah, how convenient I'm on my way there anyway. This this all seems a little basic though. Well, it's the first in the series, right? I'm sure it'll pick up. I clock him over the head now, that's a half decent idea. What do we think? Bone or board? I'm still stuck. Please help me. Let's try out the board then. Oh. So some items I can take off. Take this purple sea urchin for saving my Gabby. You got any clocks? Hey, Mrs. Halibut. Luther, we still need to find Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. Hey, is that another urchin? Okay, perhaps we I'm collecting urchins. Purple sea urchin. For some reason. The beach is up there. Jeez, Kaiser, why would you vote in the lose lobby? Think of everything I've done for you. Fiddler Crab, what's wrong? Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. How did I get in this cage? I must get out of this cage. Please help me get out. And I'll give you my fishing pole. But that's grim. Give fish a fishing this pole. This key should get you out of the cage, Fiddler Crab. <laughs> Thanks for unlocking the cage. can have my fishing pole. Let's go find Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds, Luther. Or let's steal everything on the beach. Oh. I won't be stealing that then. Hmm? How oh, very cute. Okay. Enough monkeying about. We've got a job to do. And what feels now like plenty of time to do it. This is proceeding quite smooth. What is this? You have three buckets of jellyfish to feed the animals. I'll toss the jellyfish to the hungry animals, and you can keep track, Luther. Ready to go? For what reason? It's feeding time! What, what do I... what do I do? Okay, you awkwardly move the fish around with the mouse. Oh. 
I don't like that there are three digits on his counter, though. How high does it go? You still have three buckets of jellyfish left. We can um... leave when the arrow flashes. Get ready, Freddy! Those turtles look hungry. Um, why? Go get him, Freddy! This is, this is probably optional. This feels right, very optional. Freddy. You fed them all. I did feed them all. Get ready for some more no, let's not. On, let's Freddy. not. Let's get away. It sure was, but we'd better continue our search for Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds. Man, even Heldon is voting against me. Speaking of, um, there was a command in RimWorld to check who is all in the world, and Heldon is in the world somewhere. Quite a lot of people are. They're just taking their time and showing up. Okay, hopefully I don't have to go back and do that at all, ever. But what, what do I or can I do at this point? I don't remember anything that I could fish for. Maybe I can fish up a clock somewhere. Better do another round just in case. No, I think not. Oh, can I fish out the fish? It's a fishing bowl. What a beautiful shell! I have two purple sea urchins. It's a bone. Oh boy. Hmm. All right, somewhere where we haven't been, I think, is over to this to stell arc. Prediction close in 90 seconds. I wish Think I of the amount you could win by voting Freddy. lose. But this shell, it glows all day. It glows all night. I wish I could trade it for a shell that doesn't glow. Hmm, if only somebody had such a shell. Herman, I brought you a new shell that doesn't glow. <laughs> the Freddy, wee kids were in some Freddy. shades. It's wonderful! Just a second! Here, Freddy! Maybe you can use this glowing shell! Thank you, Herman! Just stuff it in my pocket. Good night! <laughs> Luther, we should hurry up and find the kelp treasure! Okay. Well, what else is going on here? Herman is getting some sleep. The king will see you now. Okay, just lots of people jumping in on the victory to take all those points we from the gracious donors. Am I right though? Is that five million points in play? I think that's the most we've ever had. that. Poor good Edna. Mm, nothing at all going on here. Alright, let's proceed. Hi, King Crab! Greetings, Freddy and Luther. Welcome to my castle. There is much beauty in my kingdom, but the most beauty comes from my beautiful pearls. I think I can see where this is going. <laughs> Are you sure it's a pearl? You seem a bit peculiar. Freddy and Luther, you are very brave to search for Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. Thank you, King Crab. I assume you're not going to do anything for me. Beauty in my kingdom, and you are amongst the most beautiful, Freddy. Okay, let's start what backing away. This? Yes, Luther, you are quite handsome too. Thanks. It 
It's a glowing shell. I have three purple sea urchins. Okay, probably come back here when we steal the, um, uh, I mean, acquire the extra pearl. Oh, hey, it's um, that thing. I think I saw you in a Games Done Quick marathon. That's on. That didn't seem to give me anything to work with. Oh well, back we go. Actually, something I'm worrying slightly about is I don't feel I have any leads to go on unless there's an unexplored area. Which is quite possible. Yeah, one of these ways I think I didn't go to, did I? Is it here? Ah, excellent. Loads of opportunities. Uh, never do anything right. Is there a trick to remove the natives in Caesar 3? You're supposed to be let the rioters burn them down. No. Although if rioters burn them down, that's interesting. It'd be very cool. And I certainly didn't know rioters could do the that. The volcano is this way. They do? Wow. Well then, now we have two ways of destroying all the natives. The gate needs to be open more before we can get through. The gate's still not open enough for us to get through. The gate's almost open enough for us to get through. All right! Damn, I'm good. Open. Managed to suss out that puzzle. Easy peasy. It's a bucket with four purple beers. Lesser weekly one-shot runners would be clocking in at about 35 minutes here, I'm sure of it. I see what you're doing, Dissident. You want me to waste time putting up a Puzzle Destroyed counter? I like the Puzzle Destroyed counters, even though I don't use them myself. There are all kinds of surprises! Uh -huh. Should we be very, very worried? Welcome girls, boys, and fish of all ages to the greatest show under the sea. We've got some great acts here today, sure to make your gills quiver with delight. So, put your fins together for our first fantastic performance! Uh, that was kind of crap. I hope we find Grandma Grouper's kelp seed soon. Me too. Let's back away, shall we? And hope that we never have to return. <laughs> back away slowly and carefully. Who's paying to go and see that trash? Oh, but we must have to be there for some reason. Oh yeah, there's something about a volcano. Are we able to do something with it? Can we go over in this direction? Oh, I don't like 
like this. Let's try the other route first. Perhaps the game didn't expect me to be so good at solving this puzzle with the bucket and the spiny urchin thing so soon. The three caves are this way. Ooh, one of those caves has a skull on the face of it. Oh, it makes a skull. Ah! <laughs> no one gets past Eddie the eel. But we're looking for Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. If we don't find it soon, all the fish are gonna die. Oh, I've heard that one before. Look, kids, why don't you just get out of here before I have to eat you? Hmm. Let's bash him in with a it's skull. It's a glowing shell. Uh, with a shell or the or this. What do you think I am? A dogfish? Maybe I should just eat you. The clue says, go to the junkyard. It's a fishing pole. Come to think of it, I never did go to the junkyard, did I? Nor did I find the junkyard. You're not getting by Eddie the eel. Right, what would be effective against an eel? Well, he was talking about eating, so maybe I could give him my sandwich. The three are this way. Ah. Mmm, yum! Grandma Grouper's famous peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. I guess I could let you get past. Good luck finding Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. The thought of eating bread that soggy kind of fills me with disgust. Would it not just break down to its constituent parts if it gets that wet? Oh, it should be dark, but that's why we have the glow shell. There we go. There. Now we can see. This place isn't so bad with the lights on. Now. Enough of the suggestive crabs. Anything for us here? Looks like a no. Maybe one of the other caves is good. I'm scared, Freddy! I can't see a thing in here! We Anybody know the voice actor behind uh, Freddy the Fish That's here? Better. There's no reason to be scared now, Luther. It just sounds so I'm familiar. Thought I could get myself a shovel. Hello, Riley. It's a beautiful day under this. Okay, mm maybe nothing for us here. Thanks, Dennis Wolf. Maybe you're not such a traitorous scumbag after all. I'm scared, Freddy! I can't see a thing in here. We have something that would help us see. Ah, a shoe! Just what I potentially yeah. needed. Now we can see. I wasn't really scared, Freddy. Annette Totugi. This is basically her only game credit. We found huh. a purple sea urchin. Wait, why would I want more of those? Can I put even more into the uh, the bucket from earlier? I have one purple sea urchin. And I have one needs to get moving here. Still need a clock. I need something to use this fishing rod on. I need something to use this bone on. But where is that junkyard? The junkyard is this way. Oh, well that's convenient. The junkyard is this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm Mr. Starfish, your math teacher for today. Welcome to class. Brutalize this. How hard do you want the questions to be? Very hard. Wait, Easy. Is advanced deeper and more hard? Medium. Hard. Very hard. Or advanced. Advanced. There's only one way to do it. Advanced it is. Bring it on. What is... Ooh. 50. Oh. 1. Plus... 6. It's a tricky one, isn't it? 50. 7. You're right. Here's another equation. <laughs> what is... Ooh, subtractions now. 7 minus 40. Two. It might still be 47, because 47 is bigger than 42. And if you took two planets, one with 47 mass and one with 42 mass, the 42 one would be obliterated, leaving only the 47. That sounds about right. 40. 7. That is not the right answer. Try again. All right, then. We'll, uh, we'll go with a lesser option. Bye. You're right. Now let's try another. How much is... 70 8 minus 40 It's really bringing nine. on the hard ones right now. Really hard. 20 9 Very good. <laughs> 8 minus 9 isn't one. possible, Litas. What is the sum? <laughs> and I would trust an elephant at maths 40. here. 1 and 30 8 70 9 That's correct. Yay! 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 Now let's try another. Really? I thought we were done. How much is 80 7 plus Tricky, isn't it? Nine. Come on, come on. 5 That's correct. You have answered five questions correctly. Now try this one. How much is sixty? Two. You're right. We are we done yet? I'm I'm stopping if this is if this We've keeps going. Six. Problems right. Let's do another problem. No, let's not. What is Oh jeez, that was all a whole load of pointless, wasn't it? Oh, I missed that urchin there. I'll get it on the way back. Look, Freddy, the bottle! Now we're gonna be rich, rich, rich! Shh, Luther! We don't want to wake up the junkyard dogfish! Dogfish? We've heard that word before. Let's beat him to death with this. Wow. Nice, doggy. Here's a bone for you. Lunch. Looks like the coast is clear. Now we can pick up that bottle. I've known a lot of dogs, and I've never known any of them to be particularly excitable when it comes to bones. Kind of makes me wonder where the idea Go comes from. Go to the three caves and enter the one on the right. Aha. The kelp treasure must be really close now, Luther. <laughs> Not the squid, Fada. Oh, clam up, Spongehead. You lost the treasure, so now you got to see the squid, Father. Oh, please, boss. Not the squid father. The squid father. Ooh, just what I needed—a clock. Hey, a clock! Now we can trade Ray for his super duper duka booka poly gizmo. 
can't fit on the screen. Is there anything else hanging around here? No, I guess not. Alright, let's skedaddle fish breath. And of course I won't forget a little urchin on the way back. We found another purple sea urchin. Seems really kid friendly though, there might be more than you need in the game. Uh, let's double back for clock face first. Wait, where was clock face? I think he was over here. Yeah. This is the way to the old whale bones. Thanks for the clock. You're welcome, Ray. Now you get the super duper duka booka poly gizmo. Thank you for the super duper duka booka poly gizmo. Nice doing business with you. So do I just smack it and open this thing up? I don't see how this thing is gonna get us through the net. Didn't. Oh, that's how. <laughs> Power of opposable thumbs. Follow the pearl. Try to find the pearl. You're right! Wonderful! Take this pearl as your prize. But this is an allegory to something, isn't it? Thanks! I'll bet King Crab would like this pearl. We have another one. Watch the pearl closely. They said one per customer, but there are two of us. Try to find the pearl. You're right. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, enough out of that. Reminds me of a Final Fantasy IX fairly hidden mini game, though. Where the those weird members of Tantarus or whatever your uh, thief group are uh, shuffle around with each other, and you can keep doubling your money to make what I recall being quite a lot of money. Mm, well, I got the pearl. The Maybe I could try. No, oh, that's the beach. Where was the king at? I must have never found that Final Fantasy IX minigame. It's during the cleanup of Alexandria, so you don't get a lot of time to, to find it and do it. Final Fantasy IX had a lot of really easy, missable things that you miss forever. And on top of that, if you want Excalibur 2, well, you better get doing everything really fast, because you've only got 12 hours. Unless you play long enough to let the game's timer loop several times. Welcome to King Crab's Castle. The animations on this, uh, they are slick. I'd say I wish I had this as a child, but hey, I had many at Mansion. It's a pearl. Oh, it's damn. A pearl. Do you think you'd wish to be a royal fish? To be a real good king or queen, you should be fair and never mean. You know, Brute, I considered a Final Fantasy IX long play, but then I remembered. I remembered just how slow the game is. One minute loading times for your battles with random encounters and no way to eliminate random encounters. You don't, yeah, they had no encounter on Final Fantasy VIII, but not in nine, and then came back in ten. The next bottle is at the three Ks. FF9 was my first Final Fantasy, but it had problems. The 
bang in music was not one of those problems. Alright, where, where am I going to now? Is this the way to the caves? That was as easy to beat. He's intimidating, sure, but he's easy to kill. The three caves are this way. FF9 for Steam has a speed up and skip random encounters. Hmm. Wasn't there a fan made um, improvement for Final Fantasy IX? Oh, it's too dark! I'm scared, Freddy! We have something that would help us see. Look, Luther, there's nothing scary in here. I'm not scared now. It says the treasure is hidden in the sunken ship. Let's go get the kelp seeds at the old ship. I know just where it is. I don't. I put all my clues in bottles so I could find my way back to the treasure. I thought I put the first bottle at the Nexus. But, but, Squid Father! Or was the first bottle at the canyon? Come on, Spongehead! Think! The Squid Father trusted us to hide the stolen kelp treasure for him! <laughs> but, 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 Squid Father! Oh no! He's spewing ink! I remember where the treasure is! Come on, Spongehead! Good grief. You enjoyed this one in your youth, Daniel? Oh, so this was around in Sweden. Was it in Swedish? That old shipwreck has held so many treasures over so many years. We're looking for Grandma Grouper's treasure. Good luck, mates. He's got a peg leg for one of his fins there. That old ship sailed through hurricanes, typhoons, thunder and lightning. But it went down in the great gulf of Ort 7. Yeah, you know who he sounds like? He sounds like the old bastard from Nancy Drew in The Hauntings of Castle Malloy. The caretaker. Hey, Freddy! What do you think is behind that window? Look, Luther! Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is in there! Yes! Now I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Luther, Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure is for everyone to share. And besides, the window is closed and it's much too heavy to open. If we can find the handle for the crank, we could crank open the window and swim inside. Let's go find a crank handle! Freddy here's got no eye for profit. Was junk here the though. Fishing pole. The super duper duka booka polygizmo can open the shrimp net. Alright, 90s version of Oberdeen, let's go. Ooh. I'm Phineas McFinn, the finest sailor on the seven seas. Arg. Oh, Kidoki. Arg. There's just one word that says it all. Arg. Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg. Arg to port. Arg to starboard. Arg from stem to stern. Arg! Arg!
Arg, yes, Wabby! Arg! And a yo-ho-ho, hum-hum, my chum! Arg! What's that you say? Arg! I can't hear ya! Arg! One more time! Arg! Very good! Excellent! In fact... Arg! Arg! The handle is broken! Arg! If you could find old Phineas another musical instrument, I would gladly trade you this useless crank handle. Or if he's Arg when he's La Gomme as well. Okay, he needs another musical instrument. Fair enough. Let's find her. Find him one. Is this Gizmo a musical instrument? It's a glowing shell. Can't tell if weekly one shot or punishment game. This is no punishment game. It's fine. That crutch might come in handy. You you taking the piss there? <laughs> That's got everything. Spooky skeletons and all. <laughs> Oh, it takes me out back here then. Didn't see a musical instrument when I was down there. Where's one meant to get one? Is there anywhere else to investigate around here? Look, Luther! Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is in there! Yes! Now I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Luther, Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is for everyone to share. And besides, the window is closed, and it's much too heavy to open. If we can find a handle for the crank, we could crank open the window and swim inside. Let's go find a crank handle! Tempted to just click through that, but the stipulation is not to skip animations. Whether I've seen them before or not. I can leave here, so maybe there is something still out there that I need to find. It's a crutch. It's a fishing pole. I thought maybe I could take the strings off of that, put it on here, and give him some kind of makeshift underwater guitar, but perhaps not. Okay. Ah, there's no way to leave this area, though. Or is there? That up seems to take us towards the ship. When that ship went down, there were many treasures. I saw all of them before they were taken by the Squid Father. Hmm, so the solution must be here somewhere if we can't leave. What would make for a musical instrument around here then? I'm hey, Putt Putt. And I swear I saw an elephant there as well. couple of ideas, now that I've double-backed here. Since that guy's got a peg leg, he might appreciate a crutch. Alternatively, I wonder if I can do anything with that sword. Would you like this crutch? Aye! Me old crutch! Thanks, matey! Now I don't need this old mandolin. Would you like it? Yes, please. Thanks. Modo saying it's time to get good. Actually, that timer is ticking down at a hefty rate. I need to put my rear in gear. Phineas, 
Here's another musical instrument for you. Great. Here. Take this crank handle. Now I kind of want to hear a Thanks, song played idiot. on that. Arg! Oh, there There's we go. Just one word that says it all. Arg! Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg! Arg to port. I don't want it anymore. Arg to starboard. Arg from stem to stern. <laughs> Screw that! I'm going to get some Arg. more water while he's playing that. Arg, yes, Bobby. And a yo ho ho hum hum, my chum. Arg! What's that you say? Arg! I can't hear ya. Arg! One more time. Arg! Very good. Excellent. In fact, Arg! Ah, capital timing. Right, pretty push. Let's get this done so we have two and a half hours for the other two games. I'm left wondering what those two extra urchin pieces are for, and that fishing pole. Okay, four of us. Some of us lose time, some of us lose lives. <laughs> and lose at raids. We found Grandma Grouper's treasure chest! Mm hmm. Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure! Yeah! <laughs> <gasps> Uh-oh. Told you we'd find the treasure, boss. Okay, you two. Hand over the treasure. No. Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are for everyone to share. But we gotta take the treasure to the squid father. So we can grow some kelp. If we share the seeds, we can all grow kelp. Share the kelp seeds? Gee, boss. The kelp seeds are for everyone. Wait. I got an idea. We can share the kelp seeds. <laughs> Great idea, boss. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Let's go tell the squid father we're all going to share. And <laughs> we're the ones Aye. making out with them anyway. Kelp, you found the kelp, a marvelous kelp. Yeah, is this how communism took root in Sweden? Everyone gets a bit, but Grandma gets most of them. I saved your treasure, Grandma Cooper. Well, okay, Freddy helped a little, but I figured it out. I was very brave. Oh, I'm sure you were, Luther. Now, can you both help me plant the seeds? Some help that was. <laughs> Crikey. Are we done yet? Can I hit the timer? Yeah! I was very brave, Grandma Grouper. There were these big mean sharks. There must have been 50 sharks. I was dodging left and right. Swimming loop de loops. I'm so proud of you both. Why don't we go inside, so you can tell me all about your adventure? 
Jinx Granny's got grass so long there's gonna be wild Pokemon back there. Here we go again! Oh no! <laughs> no, no we don't! No we do not! Right, jolly good. Jolly very good. Let's get out of here and load up the next game. No new game plus for us here. Let's load up Freddy Fish 2 in the case of the haunted schoolhouse. If we have if we have the power with which to do so. Ah, come on, come on, I'm on a timer here. That looks kind of like it. Of course it uh Yeah, this these games, the scum program doesn't like what I do here, but that's alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Morning, Mr. Yeah, what about the pearl and the fishing rod? I, I feel that we've left some unfinished business back there in Freddy Fish 1. Sorry I'm late, Freddy. I just had to find my Codfish Commando action figure for show and tell. That's okay, Luther, but we better get going before we're late for school. So is show and tell a real thing? I don't ever recall there being a show and tell when I was in school. Splat. Okie dokie, let's go to school, I guess. Luther, did you do your homework last night? Sure did, Freddy! The schoolhouse is over here. Show and tell is very real, as kindergarten taught us. What a great game. I really hope there's a Kindergarten 3. Freddy, did you bring everything you need for school? Of course I did, Luther. In fact, I'm ready for a great day. And I hope you are too. I've had my breakfast. Not too shabby, a whole lot better than the song we had in the first game. Uh, by the way, do we have... Yeah, we do have subtitles on, but it wasn't on for the song. What a crushing disappointment. I'll race you to school, Freddy. I know there are people that watch these streams that uh, hope for subtitles whenever possible. Where are all the guppies? We're hiding. The guppies say the school is haunted by a ghost, and that the ghost is stealing their toys. I saw the ghost, Mrs. Croker. It stupefied me with fear, and then it stole my toy! Boom! Ah. Hey, that's my toy! Boom! It couldn't have been real. There's no such thing as ghosts. Luther and I will find that so-called ghost and get back all the toys. Good luck, Freddy. So it's preparing American children for the school shootings. The guppies are scared, their faces are grim. The ghost was just here, and wow, he can swim. It swam through the class, that's his lightning. He's so mean, truly frightening. They put a lot more budget into the music here, and I do like that. Wait, what? A. A. B. B. D. U. L. D. I. E. D. There we go. Never forget Abdul. Should we erase the whole chalkboard? There we go. Typical room world colonist. Wait. Now a bit more like one. Oh, it stays up there! Man, that is cool. 
so advanced, Jinx. The money must have flown in after the first one. That ghost scared me out of ten years' growth. And I'm not even ten yet! <laughs> I'm really glad Mrs. Croker decided to stay with us. She's great! That ghost has me so scared, I can't even think what one plus one is. Me too! It scared the algebra right out of me! What happens if we can't catch the ghost, Freddy? Oh, we'll catch it. I'm not gonna let that phony ghost scare me. Alright, enough out of you. Let's get going. Although I like the pyramid-shaped globe we had. Okay, time to steal everything, like that cat. Maybe not, like that microscope. The scissors, perhaps? Alright, there you we go. You never know when a pair of plastic-coated safety scissors will come in handy. Slice up that ghost. What's the implication of all the things here? There's another thing, class president. I don't think we ever had anything like that in school. Ah! Hey, Luther, that was the ghost. Let's get it. Hey, you, stop. Oh! Whoa! You better look out. I'll be back to get that toy. Freddy, he almost got away with my Codfish Commando action figure. Why does that ghost have to steal kids' toys? Look, it's part of the ghost. Luther, I don't think that ghost wears sheep. Whoever is scaring the guppies is just wearing a ghost costume. Hmm. I've got it. Let's build a trap to catch that phony. See? We already have almost everything we need. We do? Huh? This is a list of all the things we need to build our trap. We'll just need to get a trident, a diver's helmet, a life preserver, a wheel for the baby buggy, and a pulley for our trap to be complete. We cut out the middleman here, Freddy, and just get the trident. This chandelier is going to trap the bad guy. I can hardly wait to catch that toy napper. Let me at him! Let me at him! Okay, so I guess we have to go around the school and pick up all these items. I'll get right on it. Yeah, it's a lot of budget uh, deficit around here, Dennis Wolf. They can't maintain the schools. I hope Freddy and Luther can solve the mystery and get my toys back. I'm really glad Mrs. Croker decided to stay with us. She's great. Have you found out what's frightening my little guppies? We don't know who the culprit is yet, but we do have a plan to trap him. You see, Raziel. The ethereal just means that I only have a 1 in 4 chance of connecting the attack. And I'm pretty confident at winning a 1 in 4. A 1 in 4 for me is more like a 4 in 5. Okay, I'm not getting the goodies I want here. Now let's proceed further. Yeah, Floopsy Doodle, would you wear clothes if you were just a floating head? OK, 
Okay, four directions. I guess all of them are going to have an item or more that we need. These are my plastic coated safety scissors. Talk to sea urchin over here, Luther. Oh, bloomin' heck, more of the sea urchins. We couldn't carry them over from the last game. Oh, wow, that's kind of disgusting. Helmet would be great for our trap. But it's stuck. Ugh. Hey Luther, how about giving me a hand? I really appreciate the great job you're doing. No, Luther. This helmet is snagged on the kelp. Help me break it loose. Oops! <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Did that joke translate? Gonna get the helmet for our trap? I'm sure there's a way. We just have to think of it. Well, we could cut the kelp, or we could go back to the last game and not save all the kelp seeds. Here, Luther. Snip ahoy, Captain! It's loose! We need to get four more things to make our trap. It's an old diver's helmet. We need to complete our trap. Is this the same uh, voice actor as the one for Freddy Fish 1, by the way? Someone's sure to know. Ooh, that looks valuable. <laughs> there we go, that's an eye for profit. Oh, it's the wee uh, clammy pearl things from the last game. And it's you again. Trying to snip. My or not. Scissors. I'm hungry and I'm grumpy and a bad mood to boot. Swim too close and you may go down my chute. I'll gobble you up without even a wink. Then I'll clean my dishes in the sink. I'm always charged up with electricity. I let up big sparks, it's so easy for me. So don't you come around here, shut your eyes with a snap. Unless you want to see that big eddy zap. Living underwater is what bugs me the most. You wake up in the morning with soggy toast, and the frying pan never really gets that hot. I can't keep the lid on my cooking pot. This is fantastic. Look, it's the life preserver that we need for our trap. Ah! Nobody but nobody gets past Eddie the Eel. Sir, we really need that life preserver. It's not mine, but you still can't get past me. I'm in a bad mood because I missed lunch. And you ain't improving things any. Better skedaddle or I might just eat you. And toss down your little green pal for dessert. Right, sensing a theme with our eel friend here. <laughs> Well, let's go and find him some food then. I doubt he likes to eat urchin. Can't keep the lid on my cooking pot though. It's funny stuff. What? What? Ahoy, Captain Schnitzel! How's the submarine? Going nowhere fast, <laughs> but that's okay. It gives me time to zing my z ditties. A fish is a creature that lives in the sea. It's charming and handsome. Is that like me? Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Feeling represented yet, Pepper? Sailors go down to the sea in a ship, and if they don't sink, they have a round trip. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. 
Sailors are known to be mean, coarse, and surly, but we're always polite when we're out with our girly. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Let's just not mention the war around him. Right, what was on my to-get list it's anyway? A list that shows what we need to build our trap. We'll still need to get a trident, a life preserver, a wheel for the baby buggy, and a pulley before we can trap the ghost. We know where that life preserver is. Is that the wheel? Look on the captain! Full speed ahead! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Luther, are you okay? I'll be okay. Just feeling a little buggy right now. Luther, I think you've hit on something. Yes, unfortunately, it was something very hard. No. That wheel will be perfect for a trap. <coughs> Luther, we'll need to find a way to loosen this bolt so we can get the wheel. Loosen it, huh? I doubt the scissors are going to help out with this. But I do well to remember that when I find some sort of wrench, I should come back here with it. Okay, let's skedaddle. I'm having a lot of fun with this, but that doesn't mean I should be wasting time. I'm here to win, and I have a lot of people wanting to get not a lot of points out of the lose lobby. Uh, how do I leave here again? Is it up here? Good. It's one of the four areas to go to. Actually, this area contained three things that I was after. The life preserver, the helmet, and the wheel. Pretty good haul. Now, where's likely to have a wrench? I'll try back here, I guess. Oh, and I'll get some more urchins, why don't we? Me and urchin pick it up, and all the day you'll have good luck. <laughs> Well, that was the not so safe scissors. God, this reminds me of a game that I really wanted to get running again, and I've forgotten the name of it. I'm sure I even downloaded it, but I couldn't get it to run. And I think it was called Something Something Maths Adventure. Maybe I should try again. Hey, stop. No, it wasn't Putt Putt. It had, I think, some talking bear and a skunk and a ton of little mini games to play in it. Anyone? What, what are we even doing here? Gee, I don't think I can jump. That tide pool is just too far away for me to jump. Nothing here? Oh well, we'll head on over to the left then. Even if I used all my strength, I couldn't leap that far. No mm. kidding! Not even on a leap year! <coughs> That might be a problem then, mightn't it? That tide pool. Hey, stop. Mm -hmm. Oh well, back we go. Maybe I'll find some kind of underwater trampoline I can use to make my way over there. Still two areas to check out at least. The bad feeling is when you end up having checked everywhere and not having any clue where to go from there. Hey, it's Clockman! Hey kids, don't go taking any wooden urchins. Uh, aren't you kids supposed to be in school today? You see, we're trying to get the things. The things to build a trap to get the ghost, you know? The one that's uh, haunting the schoolhouse? Sorry I asked. Better move along, kids. You're blocking traffic. Have I got a bargain in a basket? 
it for you when you come and see me neath the ocean blue. I'm a manta ray who loves to trade for things. I keep them close to me underneath my wings. A top-notch hodgepodge wristwatch just for fun. Too bad I already sold the last one. Well, let's hope we have nothing to do with you anymore. Oh no, not movies again. Is that going to be as bad as the theatre from last time? Hall of Fame and- ooh, Pooley Emporium. We are after a pulley after all. Break it, you buy it. Well, let's break it. Hi, Barnacle Bob. We're here to buy a pullet. A pullet? Forgive me for looking a wee bit stricken, but you said you needed a small female chicken? Luther, I think you meant to say pulley, not pullet. Oops, silly me. This pulley's for sale, and she's mighty nice. Five sea urchins. That's my asking price. Ooh, bit steep, that. Can we get one that's on a hot deal? I guess not. Hey, Barnacle Bob, is this pulley for sale? These pulleys here I won't ever sell. I just keep them around so I have stories to tell. Let's not ask. That looks like an interesting pulley. No. It's from the schooner Hesperus that sailed the wintry sea. The skipper had taken his daughter along, and she stole this here pulley to me. Hey, Barnacle Bob, tell us about that pulley. This pulley come down to the sea, my friends, to the lonely sea from the sky, from the port bow of a tall ship that sailed from Paraguay. Let's back away carefully, and remember to come back here when we have those five sea urchins. And maybe the it movies have some. Movies. Some for me. Oh no! No, I think I see where this is going. The theater looks packed. Yeah, well, that, that wasn't so bad. Let's have the next one. Oh, that one sucked. with some kind of abstract humor going on there. <laughs> Goodness, they've got a lot of these. I want to see the Roman one and that's it. Ooh, it's Domina. Let's just once again back away. This stuff from the first game? Shoes, the bottle? That bottle looks awfully familiar. These are the tap shoes Augie Octopus wore when he won the 24 hour tapathon. Hmm. 
Hector Tetra invented the kelp calculator, used in ocean research by kelpologists. Sergi Sturgeon won four gold medals in the all-ocean powerlifting competition. Right. I know optional when I see it. Come on, let's get back to back to work here. So I need urchins. I need. Did this guy want anything? He mentioned a wristwatch, I think. I sure didn't find one. Uh, It'll feel good to solve this mystery, Luther. This is the way to the old ruins. They're not giving me more maths questions, which is a shame. I'd love to prove my metal there. My friends appear quite lumpy when my specs are lost at sea. I'd surely be quite grateful if you could assist me. I drop them down a hole and they're nowhere to be found. I'm afraid without my glasses, I can't swim around. His what? His glasses? Hi, Casey. What happened? I got so excited reading Scientific Aquarian Magazine that my eyes bugged out and knocked the glasses clean off my face. I think I heard my glasses clatter down this hole. Oh, what will become of me without my glasses? Knock it off, Casey. You're making a spectacle of yourself. Get it? <laughs> glasses? Spectacle? I'm always thinking about things I can't fix. Other kids don't always think they're so terrific. They won't play with me and they call me names. Cause I'd rather read the rules than play the games. My glasses fell down that hole over there. I'd like to get them back, but I don't even dare. I wish I could find them, I'm feeling so sad. If I don't find them soon, my dad will get mad. Uh, if you're not listening to the songs in this game, are you even really playing, though? Okay, let's go and brave the hole. I'll get your glasses for you, Casey. Ah! I'm not going to fit in that hole. Perhaps someone younger, smaller, greener. Oh, you mean me. Sure, why not? <laughs> we never saw Luther again. Yeah, get back down there. Did I have some way to force him left there? Ah, here we go. to this for me, Freddy. Sure thing, Luther. I've invented a pill that contains all the knowledge of a 50-volume encyclopedia. Only problem is, it's a really big pill. I'm always thinking about things I can't fix. Other kids don't always think they're so terrific. They won't play with me and they call me names. Cause I'd rather read the rules than play the games. Hi, Tucker Turtle! Well, my name is Tucker Turtle and I'm here to say 
Some of us were just born this way. I don't know why you look like you do, but that's okay. Somebody has to. If you come looking for me, I'll be here in my shell. Just knock on my back or give out a yell. I like to hang out with big kids and tots. So stop when you spot my purple spots. I like to swim around in the deep blue sea. I'll race anyone, you'll never catch me. If I lived on land, I'd outrun some rabbit. I'll outswim any fish, cause winning's my habit. Fantastic. What are we even doing here? Swimming with my shell is like having a mobile home. Grotty, uncomfortable. <laughs> What are you even doing here? How did you get to be so brave, Freddy? It's just part of growing up, Bluther. Ah, there's our trident. At long last, another another object to get. Look, there's it's not going to be that simple, though, is it? We can add to our collection. I don't think we can shoot underwater here next. That statue is holding a trident. Just what we need for our trap. Hey, this statue is really attached to that trident, isn't it? It's not that, Luther. The trident is being blocked by the ceiling. Hmm. Perhaps if we brought the it's ceiling down. Up slingshot that Casey gave us. Oh no! <laughs> I can't just move that out of the way, can I? I have to make this. What is this even? I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at. Okay, that looks like it goes together at least. all come together? Oh, I don't know. I think you're meant to be to the back, because this thing comes down and over to that, doesn't it? Oh, no. Let's start with you over there, at least. For all I know, you're meant to be one further along here. Maybe this connects up with other bits. I don't know, though. I guess I'll continue to not know for a bit. And that bit doubtlessly swings down to this thing. they're going to string into. Does anything come up from the bottom left? Not that I can see. Oh, which means you might be over on that side. Uh, mm hmm. Mm, that's quite possible, isn't it? And that looks about right-ish, but... Yeah, maybe this whole thing is over on this side. Maybe, just maybe, I shouldn't have spent all that time singing. Oh, maybe I could just reset it. Oh, what the hell? That's a, that's a little different. Maybe I can just randomize until it randomly does it for me. What is this meant to be? 
I don't know, but this seems... This one won't budge. Oh, well that seems quite convenient. you over to here and you over to here. If so, that's going to be a royal pain in the neck. Definitely fits there, but then, oh boy, does that go there? Does that look like that fits there? Maybe. The other tiles are blocking it. How about this then? Ooh. Well then, at which side would you like to be on then? Probably not there. Well, maybe there. Maybe there. Or maybe all the way over to the side. Uh, I'm not sure I like this one. I'm not sure I like any of them. God, what if, you, what if you have to solve all three? God, I hate to say it, but maybe this one was the easiest one. What would be behind you here, if there is even anything behind you? It's a trident, so you have to solve all three. <laughs> well, it's possible, isn't it? Alright, just have faith. I want you up here, do I not? But you've got to be somewhere. These four definitely go together. That's got to be up on top of there. That, would that even work there though, I wonder? This is so easy, Jake. Why? Why indeed? Why indeed? Alright, what I could do is temporarily move these things over to give myself some more shifty room around here. You should try and to do something like this. Looks good, right? Mm, not good enough. What is this even meant to be? Oh, ah, yeah, hey, that works. Kind of. In fact, I think that would work if this was over here. Now, how do I shift these two?
sure this is gonna work the way I want it to. No, no it won't. Oh boy, I'm getting filtered here in a miserable way. Let's rethink our position here. What was I doing? Now I need you back over here. I need to feed these through in a certain order now, don't I? Oh, it's all coming apart now. Try moving a tile that's next to an open space. Jings. Okay, maybe if I just reset it all again, it'll come back to me easier. I mean, that's nice and easy right there. here though. Oh. Well, I'll take it. Yay! We, we got, got the trident! We need Oof. three more things to make our ghost trap. Well, never let it be said that these Freddy Fish games don't have their tricky puzzles in them. But it was no match for me. Mash <laughs> <laughs> putt putt once again. Mm -hmm. Chocolate covered worm doodles. My favorite. Luther, no! You'll get hooked! Huh? Hooked on junk food? No, I mean there's a fishing hook stuck into that worm doodle. Freddy, you saved my life. What could I ever do to repay you? Stop overacting. We could cut this for one. If we use our fins to take the worm doodle off the fishing hook, we could get hurt. I'll bet these scissors will do the trick. Great! Luther, we need to save the rest for later. I guess you're right, Freddy. I could probably give this to Eel the friend, and he'll let me through. Hmm. I've just ruined this poor guy's life. Potentially. Okay, I got something to, war to roll with, so let's proceed forward. I don't know what to do with this slingshot yet, though. I can see Max's message there. I wouldn't have voted win if I'd known there'd be sliders involved. Have some faith, Max. I can triumph. Also, we should bully the turtle guy for a bit for calling us ugly. Careful, or we'll poke someone's eye out. That's kind of the plan here. It wouldn't be nice to hit somebody with our slingshot. I'm not sure that would do anything. How about we stab him then? Trident we're going to use to build our trap. Oh, okay. A <laughs> slingshot for the bandit raid. God, yesterday's bandit raid was something else. Oh god, I can't remember where Eelface was. The tide pools are up here. I recall having a slingshot. Ooh, right, this. Still haven't figured out how I'm meant to jump over this part, though. Ah, something will come to us. 
Hang on, maybe I could use a slingshot to hit something to make us a uh, path over. It's the souped up slingshot that Casey gave us. It's the souped up slingshot. It doesn't give me the opportunity to use it here, but it gave me the opportunity to use it over at the uh, the other dude. It's the soup. I should remember that. Oh yeah, speaking of, I still don't have the option to save for some reason, and I don't know why. The submarine is this way. Second puzzle, says Matty Mia. Well, we need someone who's an authority on whether or not something is a puzzle to indicate the amount of puzzles we've had. I wonder if Serenade is around. Alright, this actually sounds really nice, but we gotta Here's give it your away. To do a good deed and feed a hungry fellow sea creature. You mean give up my worm doodle? My very favorite thing in the whole wide world? Come on, Luther. Do it for Eddie. Ah, oh, well, my duty is clear. Wow! I'm getting a major league sugar rush. See you guys later. <laughs> Sterinator, this wasn't Luther, a puzzle. That was very noble. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah, I do noble pretty well, don't I? Very often my days are improved by remembering things from the Nancy Drew Marathon. Just earlier today I was doing the dishes, and I just burst out this in spontaneous laughter. This just what we need to build our trap. Because I could just hear Eristocrat, a.k.a. True Leveler, in my head, trap. saying, I don't care if he's hurt, I've been hurt a lot today. I'm being yelled at by chemists. Oh, jings. Maybe it's one of those you had to be there moments, but I. I lose it whenever I remember that. Okay, so what are we doing? How are we doing here? Need some kind of we wrench? We need to get a wheel for the baby buggy and a pulley before we can trap the ghost. Some kind of wrench and a couple more of these urchins. Ooh, I wonder if this is a puzzle. Oh, hang on, there was another place down here, wasn't there? Did I already check it out? Probably, but I need to refresh my memory. Oh, yeah, this is down where the submarine itself was. Just doing a quick scan for more of the urchins first, though. Go deeper into the submarine. I was in a submarine once. Where was that though? I think it was in San Francisco. Yes, another desperate bid to leave the place. This must be the censored version without the dead Nazis in the U boat. <laughs> Check around the school, see if we can poke someone's eye out. This chandelier is going to trap the bad guy. I can hardly wait to catch that toy napper. Timer's running a bit out. down. I imagine the third game's going to be the longest. And uh, I don't like where the timer's going right now. Alright, so one cup of salt, one teaspoon of sugar. <laughs> so many good moments from that whole marathon. And it was fun to rewatch it as well. Although I did kind of lose a lot of my holiday for it. Can I shank some people here? Careful or we'll poke someone's eye out. Careful or we'll poke someone's eye out. It wouldn't be nice to hit somebody with our slingshot. Well, can we hit anything with it? That sounds like a no. Alright. Just two things. Just don't know where they are. 
Yeah, I changed the globe into a cube and then a pyramid. Looked good. Huh? If you guys don't stop nosing around the schoolhouse, the ghost will turn you into a couple of fish sticks. Uh -huh. I'm no jellyfish. You can't scare me. However, you can scare me. Well, don't say we didn't warn you. Rampant racism under the sea here. Alright, I'll just have to Attack double check. Up here. Everywhere again, try and find those two urchins. Oh crikey, how am I to jump across the tide pool though? Hmm. Gee, I don't think I can jump that far. It's the souped up slingshot that Casey gave us. Have I even used that thing once, though? Oh! I didn't even think Ray, about going there. You made it to the other side! Well, how fortunate. Ahoy, Luther! Here, turn off the starboard bow! Aye, aye! Got it, Captain! Another puzzle crushed. You know how it is, though. It's only natural. Hey kids, what kind of fish live in Hollywood? Beats me. Starfish. <laughs> All right, Triple Finn, I want to hear your story by song. There once was a cow guppy who'd hoop and holler. And he had a fine young seahorse by the name of Sand Dollar. He'd ride into town with his ten-gallon hat, but nobody knew his name, as a matter of fact. Sitting on my porch, well, nothing could be finer, except maybe eating at Eddie's all-you-can-eat diner. The food there's healthy and it tastes good to me. You know, I only wish that it could be free. I got a friend of mine by the name of Ed Salmon. Yeah, we just sit around in our rockers and play backgammon. The game's real good and the company's fine. Even though he cheats most of the time. How do you cheat at backgammon? Sounds like a sore loser here, Mr. Triple Thin. Shank you for it. So did I come here for nothing? Well, come to think of it, the first game had plenty of doing stuff for nothing. So I shouldn't be too surprised. Feeding those weird froggy things, getting that pearl. The fishing pole. Look, Luther! A purple sea urchin! Gee, how'd it get way up there? Nice try. Oh, I can't jump high enough to get it. Well then. Here, Luther. Why don't you try your slingshot? Great idea. I've been waiting for a chance to test it. Got it. Good work, Luther. Great work. Recht fit new. That's gonna be all I need for the pulley, but I still need something else, and I managed to forget what it is. Alright, let's play crab invaders! Don't oh. let them get past me! I sure like this game! Wait, can we only spit so far up? Yippee! Alright! We can leave 
with arrow flashes. And let's all be grateful. <laughs> I'm not going for four digits this time. If Death Shed had truly asked for, he could have forced me to do a certain number of maths questions or win by feeding or beating those space invaders to a certain score, but he did not, because he lacks forethought. Is there anything over here, by the way? I can't wait to see the guppy. Actually, I have forgotten. No, I need some kind of wrench. That's it. Some kind of wrench to get that wheel off. And that's one kind of item I haven't come anywhere close to finding. You wouldn't have to have a wrench on you, would you? Hey kids, don't go taking any wooden urchins. Uh, aren't you kids supposed to be in school today? You see, we're trying to get the things. The things to build a trap to get the ghost, you know? The one that's uh, haunting the schoolhouse? Sorry I asked. Hmm, maybe I should investigate not this room, but the other two rooms a bit further to see if they've got what I need. Here's one sea urchin barnacle, Bob. Here's two sea urchins barnacle, Bob. Here's three sea urchins barnacle, Bob. Here's four sea urchins barnacle, Bob. At least we get to learn how to count here. This is the last sea urchin we have. Thanks a lot, Barnacle Bob. Tain't thanks that I needn't or even expecting. Just keep up your interest in pulley collecting. There's only one more thing we need to build our trap. Couldn't we make do without it? Or find any other wheel? <laughs> yes, Gwenfather. We know you never had a toy in your whole life, but... But we can't get you any until the kids are out of the classroom. Well, the kids haven't left yet because of that Freddy fish. Yes, Squid Father. No more excuses. We'll do what we gotta do. Uh, boss, uh, just what do we gotta do, huh? We gotta get rid of those kids! And now we're talking. Recht, double back around, see if I can find some kind of wrench or wrench-like object. Although I'm sure I checked out everything in here already. This plus says King Crab donated his pearls to build this Hall of Fame. Hmm. Tina Tuna held her breath above water for 13 minutes. Above water. Very funny game. An even better joke would be you telling me where that wrench is. Maybe I have to watch a certain movie to see it. Like Codzilla. movie. Okay, come on, Luther. Let's find ourselves a wrench. It's a no-go here. It's a list that shows what we need to build our trap. We'll still need to get a wheel for the baby buggy before we can trap the ghost. We know where it is, but not how to get it. I'll do one other check around here. Mm. It wasn't down there, was it? 
We can go back, it seems, so let's try our luck. Let's try the right side again this time. Maybe there was something here that I was missing. No, just the horrific abuse of Luther. Well, get back down there, Luther. Doesn't look like wrench is here. How discomforting. I feel like I could be smacking you with this. Careful, or we'll poke someone's eye out. We have already used it. <laughs> oh no, no, no! We don't need more of that. We're getting closer to catching the phony ghost. <laughs> What's over here? Ah, this is where we found the bait on the hook. Nothing resembling a wrench. Left wondering if there's a whole area I haven't been to or not. Hmm. One wrench or wrench like object somewhere around here. Where could it be? No matter where I go, I'm always home in my shell. Maybe we could threaten him with the scissors. These are my plastic coated safety scissors. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you should call Freddy's best friend, Bess Marvin. A science magazine and glasses to read it with. <sighs> Life is good. As long as you're happy. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. There's nothing like a good... Ah, uh, sure. Let's have a look at that submarine again. Submarine is this way. Pouring over the screen with my eyes, trying to find something that looks like a wrench. Uh oh. The exception to this rule I've never seen yet. If you jump in the ocean, you're bound to get wet. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Impala. No, that just takes us back up here. Oh, as the time fresher mounts, Ready Jake's patience for these frivolous, <laughs> frivolous there, songs is waning. Well, I still like them, but I am growing keenly aware of how I'm losing time here. Maybe if you wait for the bolt to rust out, the wheel will just fall off by itself. I think we need a slightly more immediate solution. Freddy, how do you into think it? we should unfasten the wheel? That's a real good question. We really need that wheel or else we can't complete our trap. These are my... It's the suit. It's the life preserver. It's the trident. It's the pulley. It's an old diver's helmet. We need to complete our trap. Mm, oh boy. The hunt is on for some kind of wrench. 
<laughs> the waiting thing sounds good to me, says True Colt. Ay, ay, ay. Already came here, we already dispatched with the eel friend. Oh, he's back out for another song! <laughs> When my stomach's full, everything is fine. Anyone who feeds me is a pal of mine. Yeah, quickly forgotten though. Remember that sandwich I gave you? Mmm. Pressure mounting. Where is that wrench? Assuming it's a wrench we need, but that makes sense. There's a bolt to be taken out. I've already poured over the school, I'm not sure I'll get anything by pouring over it again. But, perhaps my eyes deceived me. Ah! Aha! to be something in here for us. Aha! There we go. Game, set, and match, Freddy Fish. Great! We found a wrench! All that way just for that. I feel smarter than Aristocrat when he figured out the chemical element for mercury. <laughs> Lou Sloppy's been real quiet ever since Jake went back to school. They probably didn't want to say anything that would give away the fact that the school is the right the idea. Crap. We make a great team, Luther. Of course the it is backfired. Just like everything Lou's Lobby's ever tried to do. <sighs> right, victory's right around the corner. Let's just get ourselves that uh, that wheel. Imagine if it was a two-hour challenge to get this game done. I would hope that that's the last Try input. Then, Whoa! We did it! Let's go catch that ghost! We're ready to make our trap, Luther! That's just about everything. Luther, can we use your toy as bait? Well, okay. Our trap is complete. Someone's coming. <laughs> hey, boss, look! A toy! Let's grab it! Now, Luther! <laughs> Excuse me. It's Freddy Fish and Luther. How could you two scare the poor little guppies and steal their toys? The Squid Father told us to, cause he's never had any. You should know that you can't just take things that belong to someone else. 
Uh, uh, you know, she just might have a point there, boys. Okay, you can give back the toys. The squid father doesn't need the toys as much as the copies. Here, give this to the squid father. He should have at least one toy. Come on, Luther. Let's take these toys back to the guppies. Look what we you found. You found the guppies' toys. Kick it, hooray! We solved the mystery, Mrs. Croker. There wasn't really a ghost haunting the school. It was just those sharks pretending to be a ghost. Congratulations. You saved the school. <laughs> About the mystery about why a fish has memories. Well, perhaps some mysteries are best left unsolved. Okay, come on, let's go, go, go. Uh, let's new game plus, right? Wrong. Let's not at all. Let's get the third one up and operational. Apparently you get five random items from a list of eight items. Ooh. I wonder what the other items would be then. I don't wonder enough to replay, but it's good to see some replay value to the game. <laughs> yahoo, yahoo, yahoo indeed. But can we get the game up? Of course we can get the game up. And enlarged. Magnify. Let's go. How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fit. <laughs> Will we have a good time? Nothing bad's happened yet. At Pelican Sam Airlines, we never leave you up in the air. Oh, I was hoping we wear those the whole time. What a cop out. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Great job! I knew you could pull it off! Get it? Pull? Off? Oh, Luther! The Luthers do grow. He's got a lot more air, uh, thin like hair in his head there. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. 
That pathetic voice of this guy reminds me of uh, a voice from Day of the Tentacle. Which one, though? I don't quite remember. Okay, old soggy. What do we do when we find the bad guy? <laughs> Die of a heart attack? Okay. That's my plan too. No fair. Um. Oh, I bet we have to use this to show who the criminal is at the very end. Or maybe we have to po uh, paint the discount Mona Lisa here. Ah, oh, man, where's Brelix when I need him? <laughs> the He Entertainment logo looks suspiciously like her entertain. Yeah, I see what you mean. Okay, enough of this. Let's get moving. We've got uh, an hour and some spare change to figure out who stole this conch. Our founder is shown holding his most precious gift to our community. The great conch containing the three golden pipes. Uh, there's a prime suspect in my book. Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Mm, just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre mends things, they are better than new. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Pisha! With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Oh, if only I, Pierre, had the perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. What's wrong with the egg that's on it? The egg? It is too roly-poly. But I suppose it will have to do. Unless, of course, I could get the perfect accessory. A blue-tailed Joey bird feather. That would look beautiful, Pierre. I just lock him up. He's clearly the one that did it. And even if he's not, the streets will be safer with one fewer Frenchman on it. Oh, these again. I spy with my little eye something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of options here. Propeller, purple it's sea urchin. Purple sea urchin. Dang. Good work, Luther. Well, there's a lot going on here, but. I guess what I need to do is find those three golden bits and then give it to the sniffer dog. That's probably the main thing I have to do, so let's get on it. How and where though? Well, just gotta explore. Freddy, this log looks kinda like a tunnel. And it seems to be stuck in the mud. Hmm, the fish sweat. The log won't budge while it's buried in the mud. There's probably something that could help us get it. Look, Freddy, there's something behind that waterfall. Wait! Luther! <laughs> Whew! That knocked the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get to that waterfall. This situation just cries out for a futile act of desperation, and I'm just the one to do it. 
Don't be reckless, Luther. If we just find a way to go under something, we'll get to the other side. Oh, hang on. I've got a dossier on the... Uncle Blenny is depending on us to find all three golden pipes and the stolen conch shell and discover the identity of the real culprit. He's asking a bit much of us. He's already in jail. I think Nancy Drew stole from this one with uh, alibi and ashes. Oh no, another <laughs> bloody monkey. Hey, Luther! Do you see what I see? Purple sea urchin! Would you like to try a banana? No, no. thanks. I already had a big bowl of krill toasties for breakfast. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. <laughs> Fascinating, but you know what my favorite food is? Worm doodles. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I can see we won't be getting together for dinner anytime soon. Uh, let's just back away from Monkey Brain. Hang on, why are they not a suspect? It's always the monkeys. They stole so much on the Ransom of the Seven Ships. Hi, my name is Luther, and this is my best friend, Freddy Fish. I am horse feathers, I am. Mmm, just the aroma smell. I predict that phrase book is going to make this a very interesting trip for our friend. Yeah. Hmm. This guy's awfully suspicious as well. For the festival? My eyebrows to the store take. That phrase book leaves something to be desired. <laughs> I guess in a way I am a big Nancy Drew fan after all this time. I shouldn't even try to deny it. It'd be kind of cool if this game also has a randomized stuff. But if you don't know what the other randomized items are, then oh boy. Must make life hell for speedrunners. I wonder what all those gauges are for. I can't wait to catch the real conch shell thief and get poor Uncle Blenny out of jail. Well, I'm not seeing anything worth our time here unless I can switch the... There's definitely something to be done with this. Look, it's drawn differently from everything else and I can't normally interact with it, so I must come back here with something. Maybe to open that little latch up. But so far I've got no items. Other than these uh, purple urchin thingamajiggers. I came from that way. Let's head deeper down in like we're playing Subnautica. Hey, get out of the bullies club. Well, looky what we got here. A little green squirt and little goody two fins. Hey, I have more than two fins. What do you two want? Excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipes. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe you didn't notice. But this is the Bullies Club, and I just happen to be the president. Um, what? 
Bully's all over the place. If I were a big strong bully, you'd give me that flashlight. Ah, you don't scare me. Even my breath is stronger than you are. Ha ha ha. Right, so we need to get Swole to take other people's things. That lobster is not very friendly. An ideal I can subscribe to. Because <laughs> what you can't protect is not truly yours. This is game three, Exocravate, but we've only just started it. Hmm, no, I've explored here and... did I go here already? I forget. Yes, yes I did. It's the Frenchman's house. Well, let's try our luck over here. Our founder is shown holding his most precious gift to our community. Oh, he's The small. great conch containing the three golden pipes. Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well... What we've got in store for you this year is even better! Just back away from him and spy what? ourselves another urchin. I'm a group or fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here and I'll hang on to it for later. Three out of what is probably Good five. Work, Good brother. stuff. Banjo. Beware, lest you lose the substance grasping at the shadow. Wow, that's really deep. Too deep for me, I'm afraid. In unity, there is strength. I wonder if my mother's hiding inside that machine and writing these things. <laughs> a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Oh my goodness, that's one of the thingamajiggers, right? We gotta, we gotta play. Look, it's one of the golden pipes. You're right, but how can we get it out of that glass case? Looks like I a have an case idea. can crack if you ask me. Oh, Lothar. Pressing this organ key didn't make the golden pipe move. So, if I make you go two, or even four... Those blue sponges move uh -huh. the golden pipe closer to us. Uh -huh. Very uh -huh. clever, Jake. Those purple sponges move the golden pipe farther away from us. Very, very good. We're on the right track. It looks like the orange sp Way to go! Wow, we're really on top of this. I don't think that's the way we want to go. Are you sure about that? Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ho, 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 ho. Keep it up and we'll have that go- At this rate, it'll take forever to get the golden pipe out. This seems to be working. Done and done right. A one down, two to go. We'll have this done in no time. I- Ooh. Hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? Ah, the sweet smell of success. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Soggy to pick up the scent. Enough of you. Let's go. I was hoping the game could give me some pre made Nobody music. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. 
I sure hope you're right. Oh. It's so dark in here, Freddy. I'm scared. I'll protect you, Luther. Right, this is clearly somewhere that I'm going to need that light for. We'll mind that for coming back here. That said, though, I still don't have any items to go and use with. Maybe I need to take a trip down this turbo tunnel. Oh, there's more stuff over there. You say you want world peace. You say you want thin thighs and bulging pectoral fins. Well, you won't get that here, but for only four purple sea urchins. What you will get is a chance to prove your skill and have a thrill. And win a phantasmagorical funhouse mirror, just like this one. Only one mirror per customer void were prohibited by law. See me, Gil Barker, for details. I've got it all pieced together in my head there. I need to win that mirror and use the mirror on the big bully thing to make him think that we're a big bully. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. Of course you could. So do you think that a narwhal and a little green fish can find happiness together? Nope. <laughs> what? Who do you think stole the great conch shell? Shooting them down. I that anyone would take the great conch shell. It is just too important. But if you really must know, Rosie Pearl looks awfully suspicious. Mm. What were you doing when the great conch shell was stolen? There is no possibility that I could have committed the crime. I was here all day, brushing my tooth. Nadine, are you the one who stole the great conch shell? I love the festival. Taking the great conch shell would ruin it. I would never do that. Correction, ruin it for everyone else. Thereby making your experience proportionally better. Yeah, they're all suspects, really. Just throw them all into jail. Look, Freddy! It's a purple sea urchin! Got it! I sure wouldn't want to get my tail caught in that clam's sharp, scissor-like jaws. Gee, that fish looks like it's really hungry for those kelp vines. Mm. These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. Ah. What? That tastes horrible. If we can find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway. Yet again, the kelp communism is causing us more problems. I need to find a way to cut that, and I doubt this will do it. steer clear of that clam scissor-like shell. Huh. Well, that was easier than I thought. Scissor-like, of course. Look, Luther! The doorway's clear! Swell! Well, onwards and upwards. Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes! I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. Once again, send Luther into the danger. This hmm. just opened that tube. Uh oh. This is probably gonna change where Luther goes. How do I send Luther in? Oh, that just took us out. to send you in then, or do I have to press the play button? Oh, oh bye, Luther! <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. 
I was always quite envious of hamsters. I think this makes you go through the tubes twice. So I had all those hamster toy looking things to run around in. What's the implication here? I'd understand if we could see that a conch was stuck in here and maybe sending him through would suddenly make him unjam it. But otherwise there was nothing we got out of this, so I don't know. Come back here again if I'm desperate. But I'm not seeing any conch in there. It's just a shame because that was clearly something we had to figure out a way. Oh, right, we don't come back in. There's something suspicious here. We'll keep it in mind. But we've got our four thingamajiggers. We can get our mirror, which will probably allow us to get into the big bully club. Gonna count to four again? Here's a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. Oh, no. If enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. Uh, why? Is there is there a limit to, to how much of this we're going to be doing? I'd like to be done now, game. I doing here? <laughs> or rather, why am I doing here?
Well, thank God for that. In appreciation of your prodigious prowess, the world famous Floating Fun is proud to present you with this a fantabulous Funhouse Mirror Replica. There is no time for that now, Luther. But there will be. Alright, let's skedaddle and bully the bullies, just like in Mario 64. Less than an hour to go, though. Hmm. Uh, where were the bullies? Were they here? Try your luck with this. Mr. President of the Bullies Club, I command you to leave. Freddy, I know we need his flashlight to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this guy is too mean to mess with. Hey, Luther, I have a plan. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> what the? Why? Uh, you what? Huh? Yoinks! They brought reinforcements! Big, stupid-looking, ugly ones! Good job, Luther. We killed him. Can we borrow that flashlight now? Sure. In fact, you can keep that flashlight as long as you want. Oh, words to Nancy Drew's ears. Righto, where was so dark we needed a flashlight? I forget. Mm, I still forget. Oh no no, this is just Monkey Island again. I think we went to the dark place after I'd already seen the flashlight. Terrorize those who oppose you into subservient. Please, I'm trying to stay away from RimWorld for three days. And that is two and a half days too long. Here it was. It sure is dark in here, but I think I have something that will help us see. This flashlight will add some light, Luther, so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Who, me? I wasn't afraid. <laughs> <laughs> There's a golden pipe in here! Way to go, Luther! All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff out the thief. <laughs> Nothing else to do here other than perv on kissing fish. So away we go. Leave the flashlight here, Luther. That way, when we come back, we'll be able to see. Don't, and the bullies will never is get their stuff we're back. Not, we're not going to have a festival, is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find that conch show so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. Ah, you see, that intervention is just there to make us feel even better about saving the day. I'm going to see if two's enough for the little doggy to sniff on them, otherwise I think it's best to go back in this direction. It's one of the other places I haven't checked out. 
You've got to give old Soggy all three golden pipes, or else he can't pick up the thief's scent. You can't smell underwater, can you? Well, maybe we can't. Doggy can't. Right. Already been here and done this. Oh, we're gonna keep the I'd plug. I better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. I have an idea for that already. And it's a good idea. And blowing bubbles in water was so much fun as a kid. I wonder when I stopped finding that so fun. I hope you enjoyed flying Pelican Sam Airlines, where your bill is never as big as mine. Right, uh, good thing I came back here for that plug. Shame I didn't grab it to begin with, but I have a bright idea. I have an idea. Mm, yeah, it was over here. Let's ignore this lying suspect. I feel like we've met all the suspects as well. Maybe I should check the dossier again. If we're going to save the Founders Day Festival, we've got to find another golden pipe so old Soggy can pick up the scent of the thief. Right, we haven't met that big blue one, have we? Not that I recall. Recht, so what I want to do is plug it's this. A drain plug. Oh, okay, well I thought I'd have to plug this. I can't use it during this at all. Hmm. I worry about this. Really worry about this. If this is an actual puzzle I have to do, do I have anything to go on at all? Yippee! God, I have no idea if this is even meant to be done at all. Plug. Thought for sure plugging one of these it's would be the way forward. Shovel. I haven't also done anything with the plastic shovel, have I? Wasn't there a downed plane that I didn't play around with either? Mm, I could check that out. There's eight different combinations. There's a lot more than eight. At least as far as I can tell, there's more than eight. Three of them, each able to do three combinations, plus the ability to do them double. So three, three times two. Three to three, or three factorial. Bah, humbug. Oh, right, yes, this guy wanted something, didn't he? He wanted a feather. How about a plug, it's will a that do? Plug. It's a plastic shovel. Whether you desire the evening gown or the poodle skirt, Pierre can create for you the ultimate fashion statement. Thanks, but I think I'd look a little silly in a poodle skirt. That's because you're a fish, Luther. Mm, okay, feeling the pressure just a little bit now, knowing that I have so little leads to go on, but I have faith. To prove Uncle Blenny is innocent, oh, we crumbs. still I didn't need to stick to, to click on this. Another golden pipe, so old Soggy can pick up the scent of the thief. Mm. We have two golden pipes. It's a drain plug. When you get back home, could you send us a picture of your native land? 
Down the hall on your right, the powder room is. I suspect our friend doesn't quite have the hang of using that phrase book. Right, this, this crashed uh, plane is awfully suspicious and completely unused so far. It's a drain plug. It's a plastic shovel. Uh, looks like it's remaining unused unless these do something else, but... Doesn't look like it. Oh dear. I'll double check with the bullies just in case. But I'm gonna comb over everything once. I sure hope that big, stupid, ugly looking friend of yours ain't sore because I called him big, stupid, and ugly looking. Just be sure to be polite in the future, and everything will be just fine. Somebody's asking if they should send hits in chat. Absolutely not. People who try to send hits in chat tend not to have a good time of it. It's a plastic sh- it's a drain plug. It's a drain. It's a plastic sh It's a- it's a drain. Right, perhaps Monkey Island has something for me. I haven't been there in a fair whack. It's a pla- it's a drain plug. Oh, hang on. I haven't been here in a while now, have I? Maybe I could plug the uh, the waterfall. It's a drain plug. Oh, perhaps not. Maybe I could shovel out the waterfall. Hey, Luther. Help me dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Wookie dokie. You know, I forgot this place even existed. Alright, well that's our ticket through here then. Come on, Luther. Help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case I'll make an exception. <sighs> we can't slack off, Luther. Not if we want to push the log into the waterfall. <sighs> can't stop pushing. Must keep moving forward. Those thoughts go through my head when I play DDR. I just had a brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. Something else for that blue-tailed joey bird to cuddle with, if we want to get that golden pipe. Or, we could just brain the thing. Look, it's a feather from a blue-tailed joey bird. Ooh. It's beautiful, Freddy. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling the fast Good track for victory you, here. Let's go. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Maybe not. Hi, folks, and welcome to the world-famous Luau Show, where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% so now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed! I am amazed.
Was that great or what? Yeah, you bet it was! I'm delighted that you could come to my world-famous luau show. We're glad we could come too, Rosie. <laughs> you don't sound very glad. Alright, let's skedaddle. I've seen everything I need to see here. So I'm assuming that the French criminal is going to give us something that that bird can hodl in exchange for this feather. And we're on our way to Easy Street. Thanks, Debs. Just pour it on. The cool de Bruges. Joey bird feather. And we thought you might like it to decorate your hat. Oh, yes. The feather is a perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. You can keep that roly poly egg. Voila! It's a magnifique. I don't think the Luz Lobby is sweating their Luftwaffles. They knew from the very start that what, were their, what they were doing was a generous donation to the Wind Lobby. Maybe the Wind Lobby had an inside man with Death Shed. An egg should make that blue-tailed Joey Bird happier than that golden pipe ever was. No, Freddy! Golden pipe! We did it, Freddy! We found all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy! Come on, Luther! We've got a bad guy to catch! Wait, what? This seems a little out there. Old Soggy! The thief! A jewel! I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. All right, locked room thing here. I'm sure I've got 40 minutes to deal with it and I doubt I'll even need four. I'll doubt I'll even need it. And have you out of there no time, Luther. Good, because there are some pretty fishy things down here. Besides me, that is. Ooh, whole new area. Alright, that might be cause for concern. Where are we gonna go? Let's take the colorful route. Oh, oh, mm, I might 
might have to start caring Ooh, about all these colors. A gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Everything. <sighs> this red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling for that ranch thing in Nancy Drew as well. I still can't save, okay. Let's hope there's no bad end to Nancy Drew. Well, if I had to guess, and I will guess, it's the colors meaning something here. So we've got a blue thing here, so let's go the blue way. Oh, it's beautiful blue! If only you'd actually gotten Ew, swole. This blue crystal could really come in handy. If only I could break it loose. Break? Hmm. Crystal, crystal. I wanna get this crystal. This crystal is just not going to budge. Okay. can we use to smash things up? I wish Maharaja Sombra was here to teach me how to deal with crystals. Gosh, this crystal is stuck on tighter than a barnacle on a breakwater. Let's do some petty acts of vandalism as well, just like we're in Castle Malloy. Break it down there, Freddy. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. It's not the first time you've done that, is it, Freddy? Hey, the crystal grew back. Unlimited wealth. This is how we do RimWorld wealth inflation. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. In very handy indeed. Oh, come up for an hour in this game. Hopefully not too much left, or else I'm gonna be the one sweating at the lose lobby. Wow! Look at the light from this blue crystal. Come in handy. I can just smell Orlov's jealousy that he's never been able to plunder other nations. Ooh, might have to remember the way back from here though. Probably this way, because it shows that there are no crystals that way. And then, what was over here? What was that masky thing? Oh my! That certainly is an odd looking hole. That's not very polite. This crystal looks like it will fit here.
I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. Yippee! I got it! But the light from that crystal is sure strong. Is that the right crystal to use there? Looks like I could shift it out with one of these, I guess, but not unless I have a good reason to. <laughs> Was the puzzle what color is red? <laughs> well, potentially. Let's get you out of here and see what happens. And I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal irony of it all. Pshaw! If Pierre was in charge, this would never have happened. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bum a piece of my mind. Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent. <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found a visitor's map, which means the thief is... Oh boy. <laughs> Who do we put in jail? All Based of them. From what we found in the bag, well, I think it's obviously going to be you. Fetters, you're the thief. That map of a visitor belong could to anybody. You have on me nothing. I... Oh, no? Okay. Maybe something on me you do have. Confess, I must. I thought would not it make a great souvenir. Also make a great hearing aid for my old silver-haired granny. I no idea had it was so valuable. It doesn't matter whether the conch is valuable or not. You should never take things that don't belong to you. And I'm sure your old silver-haired granny would agree with me. Forgive, please, my action. Horst is most sorry. I return you to the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> and old Soggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand exalted keeper of the conch. Because he stole the great conch for his granny, Horst was convicted on a 525 granny larceny. As punishment, Horst was sentenced to write a new foreign language phrase book that wasn't nearly as silly as the one he had on this trip. Case closed. Well, hot damn, that was all just a little bit easy. I need to have a word with Barcode Battler if he thinks that that's the amount of time it takes to beat this uh, advanced puzzle game here. We would know we even played it on advanced Do you mode. Want to play again? Yeah, why not? I can't wait to play again, Freddy. Are you enjoying the flight on Yeah, seen there done that. Okay. Enough of that. A natural victory for me, not unexpected. Well, how expected was it? Let's get some numbers on that. 32% of people didn't think it would, and those 32%, well, 32% of points at least, much more than 32% of people, including a big donor here, just throwing all those points away to the win lobby, 
Those that big uh, win the most, or rather those that bet the most, win the most. Somebody earlier was asking me, what do you think of the games regardless of the, uh, the outcome? And these are really cute and charming. Not something I'd ever just pick up and play in my spare time, but that's the wonderful thing about having these wild cards and one-shots and punishment games and such, is that I do pick up and play games that I wouldn't otherwise play, or else my diet would be nothing but RimWorld. Still, we must choose this prediction outcome. Naturally, a victory for me would have even won if it was a three-hour limit. Complete that prediction and divvy out those points. And of course, what's the point in divvying out the points if we don't enjoy seeing the results of this? Let's get that summary table up. Get that summary table up. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Excellent. I know how to stream. Ah. Big winners. Two big winners that voted the maximum amount, Max and Tucker. Easy points, over 100,000, simply for knowing that I'd be able to triumph over these games. Kirio Vokron here again, finally with a win. Even Jagger. Now, I'm surprised Jagger voted on win. I thought he would have been intimidated at uh, having to go around and find objects, but he just knew I would be better at it. Pitter Patter Splatter. Must be an incredible lurker, because that's not a familiar name, but they had plenty of points to throw in. Crash Bite Isdar Mattel. And oh, even Bane Williams popping in with a vote. Whereas, Dark Young donating so many points to everybody. Same with Tender Night. Baron! Baron decided to make a big old donation. Angle, Lizard, Jeebus, and Darius. Cal and Kazar. Less, less keen on giving away lots of points but certainly donating them graciously. So, thank you Win Lobby for believing in me. Thank you Lose Lobby for donating this points. And now I must try to endure three days of no RimWorld, and then I'll be back with more of that as well, some punishment games and more Patreon games. So I'm back, until I'm back with more streams next week, it is a cheers and a cheerio.